Hey Collider fans, John Roca here with Dorian Parks, one of the new people over here at Collider. We got to talk about Justice League and its low box office run next. All right, Dorian, the reports have come in. Justice League has concluded its mm -hmm. box office run and it has come in as the lowest grossing film in the DCEU. This is an incredible story. People were looking towards this film to like be the uh, cornerstone for uh, DCEU, and it ends up being one that like completely does not live up to expectations and is a disappointment and a bust. What is your feelings about this? I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I personally did like the movie, so mm -hmm. I mean, it had its flaws and everything, but yeah, I'm not surprised. I felt like the way WB was marketing it, not including Superman in the posters right. until after the release, I think that really hurt it. So I'm not surprised by these numbers at all. Do you think some of the backstage intrigue as well with what happened with Zack Snyder, with Joss Whedon, yeah, do you think that affected that, the that overall did, perception yeah. of people? For, that did affect it a lot. I, I personally think so. It really just from we ha we kept hearing things before like right. before the release about the Zack Snyder Joss Whedon taking over and all mm -hmm. that so I think that also just had an impact on people going to see the movie or just overall just not wanting to see it. And we should give the numbers here, $547,924,295. It is below Man of Steel, below Suicide Squad, below Wonder Woman, and below Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. That's the worldwide box office. Domestically, it came in at uh, it came in at $229,024,295. Again, behind Man of Steel, behind Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, behind Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and behind Wonder Woman. And this is so interesting to me because Man of Steel came out in 2013. Yeah. First DCEU movie, and that is still made $100 million more than Justice League. I honestly, like, that's... It's so surprising. It's like Justice League. This is supposed to be the movie where all the heroes are together. We like you finally get to see them like standing next to each other, and right. that's what this is supposed to be about. It's like the Avengers. It's like yeah. we finally get to see everybody. So just it being the lowest movie out of all Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, it being the lowest is just that's crazy in my opinion. Yeah, and the irony of Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice being the one that's the most right. reviled, or the one that like really split the fandom in the DCEU, and a lot of critics and and people alike just didn't like the film. Right. It is the highest grossing one worldwide at 807 over 873 million that's incredible yet it caused all these problems you know all these shakeups in WB now we see that Walter Hamada has taken over right. we'll see going forward do you think this is just the final nail in the coffin for this version of the DCEU and now going forward with the hopefulness of Wonder Woman uh, and then what we're hearing good things about Aquaman and Shazam, and we, and Shazam. Yeah, yeah. like do you think this is just it's done that portion of the DC and we're moving on and we should forget that that ever happened and move on to the next yeah thing? I think that's a exactly what they're doing is like, mm -hmm. all right, we Warner Bros. learn from their mistakes. They're bringing in new ideas, fresher talent. Like we have Ava directing the new gods. So right. hopefully they're just trying to just take, like hopefully they'll, they learn, they're trying to take their time now, not trying to rush into everything mm -hmm. so fast. And then so just building out this new, not necessarily new, but building out this universe, making it more fleshed out. So when we do have the next meetup or when we do have these uh, heroes coming together, it's more you know impactful and it's actually like set up correctly. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think we hear we hear these rumors about a Zack Snyder Justice League uh, cut. So oh, that yeah. may be that may be like the final chapter it's in done. this whole yeah. thing, the epilogue, and then we're done with it and moving on. So, all right, well, that's our thoughts on this. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. You know, we always love to hear your thoughts. Is this the end of the DCU for this version? Do you think there'll be some uh, some remnants of the old DCU that'll come into the newer versions of these films that are happening? You know, like, it, will Man of Steel, will we get a Man of Steel 2? I hope will, so. What yeah. Batman will we get from Matt Reeves? Those kinds of things. Let us know your thoughts on these numbers below in the comments section. Remember to like and share this video. And of course, keep watching for more videos from Collider. And that's Dorian Parks. I'm John Roca. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.